Gotcha. Okay, in the last game, I'm, I'm, oh, this is the National Open in Philadelphia. This is probably the National Chess Congress, and they put National Open. Yeah, it's definitely the National Chess Congress. This was over Thanksgiving in 2001. What's funny is the worst song on the album Tapestry is Tapestry. That's not a bad song. It's just the worst one on the album. Okay. So I played the Slav, as I've been known to do. And we played the main, 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 main line. Main. Okay, this is every Grandmaster game ever played. Okay, and now he played rip d1, which is uncommon. Then he played bishop d2, which is, it's just too passive. You can't, can't play rip d1, bishop d2, and try to get an advantage. So now black is completely equalized. Bishop e1's not very good. <clears throat> Finally, he played knight h4. Never play f3. Well, that's the point of knight h4. Okay, and I played e5. Played knight f5, which is slight error. Because now my bishop can go back to g6. And my rook is lined up with his queen. So knight f5 didn't help him, it helped me. And g4 is the losing move. Uh, after e4, white's doing fine. g4 loses... But it only loses if you watch my stream. And in 2001, nobody watched my stream. Terrible. So black to play and win. Yes, Magnus is from Maine. When Magnus was a senior in high school... A lot of women would come to his house when he lived in Maine. And he didn't know if he should like hang out with the women or play chess. That was a tough decision. So the women would always say, look, bang or chess. And since he lived in Bangor, he was like chess. The end. C.L. Smith is correct. He's a student of human moves. Man, I thought I would get to 700 subs this stream because I started at 697, but I was wrong. Man, the truth hurts. Okay, so Rook takes F5, that wins. Obviously, G takes H5, loses, because he'll be down a pawn with a bad king. So he took... Oh, he took the bishop. Jesus Christ, what a potser. Okay, so he has to take this, and then I play knight E5, and then he's got some problems. Namely, F3. And this is already losing for him. In fact, the only move that's not plus three and a half for me is Queen F1. God damn. He's playing Queen F1. Okay. So he took the bishop, which is terrible. Yeah, now he's down a pawn and worse. And this guy's an IM. But I'm all over him. Knight D1, good D. Now my knight can reposition to a better square. That's a better square. Knight takes F4. God damn! Didn't see that one. Notice how his queen is lined up with my rook. So knight takes f4, attacks his queen, and attacks his rook. So he took on a7. If he plays e takes f4, attacking my queen, then the only winning move is bishop f2 check. And then his queen is attacked, so he can't play rook takes. He needs to keep my queen attacked. But he can't play king takes. Because I take his rook with check. So he has to play bishop takes. 
then I take his rook and I defend my rook. And I attack his rook and I'm up the exchange in a pawn. And his queen's attacked. So he played queen a7. Now he's down the exchange and, and uh, a pawn. Put it in h. Then I sack the exchange again. Always sack the exchange. And then he resigned here. Um, it says I'm plus six. If he takes my rook, I take, and then I'm threatening everything. Queen takes rook, queen e2, queen e1, queen h1. They all win immediately. It says I'm plus 37, and he should play queen e3, losing his rook. Now it announces mate. It says any move he has, I have forced mate. Man, the truth hurts. So I sacked the exchange twice that game. And he didn't take it the first time, and the second time he resigned. I, nobody's taken my exchange sacrifices. Let's see if that's Karen, because nobody ever texted me but her. Oh, nobody texted me. 